And the breaking news comes from Carve Solical, our chief reporter who walked onto the set just now, frantically picking up messages from your mobile phone ahead of that 9 p.m. deadline for bids for Manchester United. What do you got? Qatar's uh, Sheikh Jassim will make a world record bid for Manchester United. Uh, it will definitely be a world record bid. The world record at the moment is £3.75 billion that was paid for the Denver Broncos last summer. The big question is, will it be enough to tempt the Glazer family uh, to sell Manchester United? Our information is that the Glazers are looking for around £6 billion. I've been trying to find out exactly what this bid from Qatar is going to be. I've been asking the question, will it be more than five? Will it be close to six? I can't give you an exact figure, but I'm being told it will definitely be a world record. So Sheikh Jassim is willing to put his money where his mouth is. And I think the other important fact is that he has the funds in place. He's not relying on borrowing money from anybody else. The money is there. He is willing uh, to sign a cheque for the Glazer family uh, somewhere, I'm being told, between four and six billion pounds. I don't have the exact figure, but that bid is definitely 100% going in this evening. And speaking to uh, some US banking sources, they have been telling me, look, you've got to see the bigger picture. Yes, we've seen what you've been reporting. We've seen what other people have been reporting as well, that there are going to be five, six, seven, eight bids this evening. But the bigger picture is there's only two horses in this race. Two serious horses. Really? Right. Two serious horses. The Qataris and Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Those are the people you should be focusing on because those are the two main leading contenders. They're the only ones who've shown their hand. If there are all these other people who are trying to buy Manchester United, how come we haven't seen them show up at Old Trafford? We know other people have been to Old Trafford and have met senior executives at the club, but the kind of people who've got four, five, six billion pounds to spend to buy a Premier League club, surely they would have shown their faces and shown their hand by now.